Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. That's great. Okay, okay, awesome. awesome. Do you mind if I file on the Hello. Hello. Good, Good morning. morning. Okay, okay, this, this is, is why, why I'm late. late. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Um, we, we have, have a, a new system. system. We're streaming this from our actual like, like filming, filming camera. camera. So, so quality is going to be immensely different. different. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Quality is going to be immensely different because I'm not filming it on my iPhone, which I usually film on my iPhone. And, you know, the quality on the iPhone is not the same as a professional grade camera, camera that I shoot all my other videos, videos on. So thank, thank you for being so patient. Thank, thank you for waiting. I'm so sorry for the delay. We had a little, of course, a technical, technical difficulty because we've never used this before. So it's the first time, so bear with us. If anything goes awry, I'm, I'm so sorry, sorry ahead of time. time. But, but I'm really excited, and I'm seeing all, I'm seeing all my people on this. I'm, I'm so happy to see you all. Thank you so much for waiting, too. And again, I'm sorry I'm late. But happy Sunday. I, I want to do a makeup uh, look based on dry, dry skin. skin. So, so a makeup, makeup look for dry skin, skin all my dry skin girlies and guys out there. Anyone, anyone who has dry, parched skin, skin this, this makeup, makeup look, look is going to be for you. Now, now I know I talk, I talk about this a lot, but I don't have dry skin. I have more like oily combo skin. Mitch is saying there's an echo. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, so because there's an echo. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll try, try to, to fix that. Echo. Echo. Hmm. Let's try this, everybody. Okay. okay. We're, We're trying, trying, guys. Still, Still an echo? echo. Uh oh. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to get going, going with this because, because I, want I want to get this time, time anyway to sell all my, my skin. skin. This, this is a product that I tested out months ago, and I did not like it because I, again, I'm more of an oily combination skin person, person but this is really, really, really nice for dry skin. skin. So, I'm just, just trying to tackle the echo, and I'm so sorry. sorry. But, but this, this is from Iris and Romeo. It's, it's the Weekend Skin Warm Glow SPF 50. It has vitamin C. So it's a broad spectrum sunscreen. And the reason why I didn't like this, like I said, it's very, very... Uh, hydrating, like, like very, very moisturizing, and, and it was just too much when I tried it. it. This, this is tinted, so let me show you what it looks like on. I'm actually going to apply it with a foundation brush, brush like it's a foundation. foundation. So, so it has a tint to it. It's very, very thick. And extremely glowy. So this, this would be like, like one of those products that's nice if you, you want to put this on first, and then Get, get a nice amount of coverage, coverage going, going and then wear minimal foundation or minimal rest, rest of your makeup, makeup on top. But you, you can see, see it definitely has a tint, tint to it. it. It's going to blend, blend away. And, and I, I did prep my skin with the usual things that I like to prep my skin with. with. Um, I, I did, did top, top my skin with a little bit of a more hydrating moisturizer. It's the Glow Recipe. Plum, plump, plump hyaluronic cream. It's like, it's like a nice drink. drink of water for your skin. It's really, really hydrating. But I put that on top of my vitamin C, and the vitamin C that I'm using at the moment is from the brand Prequel. And I'll link my um, skincare that I use for this video in the description box. I just, I put it on ahead of time because I want to save a little bit of time. Oh no. Just... Bear with us. Maybe just, yeah. Echo's gone. Okay, nice. Echo's gone? Should we test it? Echo is gone. Better. Ah! Oh. Yay, Mitch! Does it sound okay, everyone? Yay, Mitch. Thank you so much. Better? Is it better, guys? Sorry about the echo. I'm sure that was not fun. It's good now. All good. No echo. Wow. Yay. Oh my gosh. I'm so relieved. Okay. Well, perfect timing because now my sunscreen is on. Let's talk about this for one more second before I move on. Um, again, this video, this makeup look is really going to be specific to dry skin people. So it's a little out of my comfort zone because as you know, like I mentioned, 
I have more oily skin. I'm not really a dry skin person at all. However, in the winter time and this winter especially, something has just changed with my skin. It feels so tight and uncomfortably dry and I feel like I'm just parched like from within. Granted, I probably need to drink a little bit more water, but <laughs> I feel very like parched from within with my skin. So I'm kind of loving just more emollient, more dewy, glowy products. So with that said, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a product that I tried years ago and I absolutely hated it. I hated it <laughs> so much. Um, I, I was introduced to this by a client of mine who has really dry skin and I tried it and I was like, this is just awful. Like feels awful on my skin. But again, that's because I was really oily, especially back then when I tried it. It is from Ilia. It's the Super Serum Skin Tint. It has SPF 40. We're gonna get some additional sunscreen on top of the Iris and Romeo, which is never a bad thing. You wanna shake this up really well because it's a very thin formula and it's very oil based. Like you'll see, it's a very oily texture to it. And has anyone tried this by the way, now that I'm talking about it? Okay, so I'm seeing that someone has dry skin and eczema. Mm. You might like this. If you have dry skin, you might really love this. So I'm just pouring it out on my palette. It's this one right here. And the shade that I'm gonna put on is 11.5. So I'm gonna put it on with the same brush I just used to apply my um, SPF. It's my N17 with BK Beauty. By the way, just a side note, I know I mentioned this on my last live that I did last Sunday, but my brushes are gonna be sold individually starting this Thursday, January 18th. I mean, I'm so excited. I'm so thrilled because there's so many of you that have wanted either to just get one to two of the brushes and not the full set, and I totally respect that. And there's other people that have wanted backups of their favorites. So mark your calendar. Thursday is the day that they are all sold individually. So now let's go back to talking about the Ilia. You can see how glowy I am. Like I am quite glowy, but I'm going to tell you in the winter, I appreciate this. This is a nice feeling and I would have never thought to myself that I would be saying that about this skin tint because I thought it was so oily. But I'm really enjoying the feeling on my skin. I just put way too much on. Alejandra, oh my gosh, thank you so much for your super thanks. Thank you for watching my content. I'm so happy you love it. Sending you a big hug. Um, Let's see, is it going to be a sale for the full set. No, there's not gonna be a sale for the full set. They're just gonna be sold individually, which is great. And you could still use my discount code. So my discount code is always going to be active. So even on the individual brushes, you can use my code Nikki10. Don't forget that. When you check out, pop Nikki10 in the checkout um, or wherever you, you, know, you pop in the coupon code and you'll get 10% off. And that's gonna help, especially on the individuals too. I think it's gonna be very helpful. All right. Look at that skin. I mean, I'm glowy, I'm dewy, I'm juicy. Like my skin is like juicy right now. That's exactly how it feels, especially this combination. So I would suggest this combination if you are moderately dry to severely dry. I feel like if you're severely dry, you're gonna, your skin is going to love this combination. So beautiful coverage. It's not, oh, that's sweet of you, thank you. <clears throat> Mitch likes to leave me helpful hints when he's watching my lives and this is his hint of telling me that my th my voice sounds raspy so this is piping hot by the way I can't take a sip yet I will burn my teeth thank you all right now that skin is skinning I mean it's like legit skinning um I just caught an area that I did not blend very well right over here let's get that don't forget around your ears but now that this is on, I'm not gonna go in and set it with powder until probably the very end of this makeup application because I want it to have a good amount of time to do its thing and dry down. And let's see how I feel after the rest of the makeup is on. I might feel like I just need a very small amount of powder or I might feel like I want to set my overall um, complexion. So we'll see how it goes. Now let's dip into concealer because I have a new concealer that I wanna try. I did. Well, I have tried this a couple times, but I want to try it with you all now that we're here and we're live together. I picked this up the day it came out, which was on Friday, and I've been using it for two days since. 
yeah, two days ever since. I tried it on Friday night, wore it Saturday, and now here we are. We're trying it again. It's the new one from Fenty. This is supposed to be a hydrating and long wear concealer. It's supposed to be waterproof, which is really interesting. Um, most waterproof products, especially with complexion, tend to feel extremely heavy on your skin because they have ingredients in them to make them stay put and not move through anything. So I have a lot of thoughts. And actually, before I put on this concealer, we're gonna bronze up the skin and we're gonna warm it up. And I think one of the best cream bronzers on the market for anyone who has dry skin, like parched dry skin, is the Makeup by Mario Soft, what is it called? Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I have the shade medium dark. I'm gonna apply it with my N15. I'm gonna swirl into it. And this is just a really nice natural bronzer. It is extremely sheer. And what's great about it is you can really see your skin through it, but you can also kind of build it up. So, no, uh, Tomas, that's my nice headband. Um, okay, Tomas just grabbed my nice like free people velvet headband out of my thing of stuff over here. Um, I have to take this. I'm so sorry, Precious. No, baby, that's a nice one. No, Tomas. He wants to chew this. I'm sorry. I, got, I gotta say no. I gotta say no to some things, okay? Um, so anyway, I'm gonna warm my forehead. I'm gonna blend this all over. I'm gonna get a nice natural amount of color and warmth to my skin. Even though I definitely don't feel pale with the shade that I put on with the Ilia. It gave me a nice amount of color. But I'm still gonna warm my cheeks. I'm gonna use a tapping motion just to press this on top. This is a very oily base that I'm wearing between the sunscreen and the skin tint. So you want to avoid blending too much back and forth because since this is such a, an oily base, it, there, it has no staying power. There really has minimal staying power. So you want to be careful with the products and how you apply them on top so you don't break up that skin tint underneath. Very pretty. My skin is just... It feels like I had a, a big glass of water. Like that's how hydrated it feels. Nice. I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna grab my N16. I'm gonna dip into that same cream bronzer. I'm just gonna lightly shade around my nose. Just bring some dimension. Bio girl, oh my God, I hope you're feeling well. I heard you were not feeling good yesterday and I am so, so sorry. I'm just sending you I've been thinking about you and I'm sending you a big hug. I hope you're feeling better today. Oh, we've missed you too. And thank you for the super things. You're so, so sweet. I really appreciate you. Nancy's on, Kim is on, Maggie's on, Angie's on. I mean, everybody is on today. New people that I haven't seen before. Bella is on. Oh my gosh, Bella says it's 55 in the Bay Area. You know what? We're freezing over here too. It's like, what degrees was it this morning when we woke up? Like 40 something? It's been really cold. It's cold for California. You know, we live in Southern California. We're not used to like it being that frosty. I'm just still working a little bit more of this bronzer to get some depth in the crease of my eye or like the socket of my eye, I should say. This inner area. I'm just gonna run my brush back and forth and just kind of gently deposit the leftover of this product in the crease for some light sculpting. And again, this product is so sheer, it's gonna be like a very light amount of sculpting going on right now, but I like it. All right, now that that is on, it means we can officially move on to that Fenty concealer that I just teased you about. The shade that I picked up, by the way, is 225N, so it's a neutral undertone, which you know I like and prefer. The doe foot is kind of cool. It's like a curved little doe foot. You see that? There we go. <laughs> Better. So I'm going to pop it in all the usual areas. This formula is very liquidy. It's not like a thicker, creamier formula. It is very, very liquidy. So with all formulas like that, that are more on the liquid uh, runny side, you know, for lack of a better way to put it, I like to let these set and dry down a touch before I go out and blend them out. Because this one in particular, I know it says it's a full coverage, 
but I don't feel like it's a full coverage. I feel like it actually shears out quite a bit once I blend it out. Like that's just what I've been noticing as I've been testing it since I got it. So in that case, I especially wanna let it kind of dry down and self set a bit before I blend it out just so I have more control and I have more coverage. Okay, I'm gonna take my N16 brush one more time. I'm just gonna dip into the product and I'm gonna lightly just highlight the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna let that sit for a while and we're gonna let this dry down, just like I said, and self-set. But one thing we're gonna do, and this is something I, I really like to incorporate when I'm working with a client that has severely dry skin, which I have a lot of dry skin clients now that I think about it. I have a lot, more than oily skin, I have a lot of dry skin clients. So while this is on and it's kind of drying down, we're gonna kind of speed up the process. And spoiler alert, I did a full face of Lisa Eldridge. It will be posted and edited by next Saturday, uh, January 20th. So that full face is coming up soon, but I can't wait to keep using this. It's such an amazing setting spray. It does a couple things. So it's the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin, Skin and Makeup Enhancing Mist. What you can do with this is you can use it as a pre-skin prep, like pre-skincare way to um, instantly hydrate your skin, soften it, get it prepped so your actives and your serums and your moisturizers have better absorption because they're going on top of like a wet base. I also like to use it in between um, complexion products. It's something I do often with my Hourglass Veil setting spray on my dry skin clients. It, it's a very fine mist. I like to put it on after, like once I get to this process where I have the concealer, the cream uh, bronzer, the foundation, I like to spray the entire face, let it soak in. And that's a really nice way to like rehydrate that client's skin or whoever I'm working with that has dry skin um, before I go in and powder and blend out. So. I'm gonna use this in that particular way. I'm gonna set it and rehydrate it. And then we'll finish the makeup with this as well. So hold on one second. <clears throat> Ooh. It's very cold. And if you are dry skin, like truly dry skin, this is gonna feel so nice to apply any kind of more hydrating setting spray in between your layers of makeup. It's gonna be like an instant boost of hydration and it's gonna feel so comforting, which is really, really nice. Now that I've done that, I think what we're gonna do, while this is still drying down a touch more, I'm gonna use a liquid eyeshadow as a base for my eyes. These are great for all skin types, oily, dry, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your eyelid situation is. These are a really nice, like very thin, lightweight base you could put on your eyelids and either wear them alone or put your shadows on top, which is what we're gonna do. It's from About Face. It's the matte fluid eye paint in the shade Capulets. I have a question here. Um, Roto, Roto to Ashes says, <clears throat> or Road to Ashes says, if I could buy just two brushes of, out of your kit for everyday makeup, what would you suggest? Okay, Mitch just um, um, lost my train of thought. Mitch just uh, mentioned a question that I got that was a good one. Uh, Road to Ashes was asking if you could buy just two brushes out of your set for an everyday makeup, right? Mm -hmm. Out of your set for everyday makeup, what would it, what would you suggest? For everyday makeup, that's hard to say because it's like everyday makeup for your eyes or everyday makeup for your face. If you're talking about your face and like your complexion, I would definitely go with the N17 and the N14. Like if I had to choose and you were like, forcing me to choose, those are the ones I would pick. Because they're really great multitaskers. Um, I mean, they're, yeah, they're just, they're multitasking to the max. So you could do so many different things and use so many different formulas with just those two brushes. So again, um, on Thursday, they're individual, they're sold individual. Oh, I can't wait to buy another N16 and N14 on Thursday. Oh my God, that's amazing, thank you. I'm so excited, Michelle. <clears throat> so this is the N16, like I mentioned, I'm just tapping in that eyeshadow base. You can either blend it out, diffuse the edges. I like to just kind of tap it onto the base of my eyelid and then blend out into the rest of my crease. 
Now that we've done that, it's time for a sip of hot water. Now we are ready to tap in that good sealer. I'm going to use my N14. So speaking of N14, I like to just tap in most of my concealers and then I'll blend out the edges with my N16. But this is a really, really quick and efficient way to blend your concealer into your skin. So I want to point out, you know, the Fenty concealer, it's like I said, it's it's claiming to be a full coverage, but I do feel like it's an it's not it's not the most full coverage I've ever used. So I I'd say it's really realistically more of a medium coverage, but probably buildable. So just something to note. But formula wise, I think the formula feels really, really nice. I think it's a great launch for Fenty and I think that it's um, a much better formula than the last one. The last one, I, I'm not the biggest fan of their other concealer, their original concealer formula. I think it's just a little too, there's just something about it that's not very flattering under the eyes. And I want to love it because I love Fenty, but I just couldn't get on board with it entirely. I think this is a much better formula and regardless of it being hydrating, I think that anybody could wear this one, to be honest, um, unless you're like really, really oily. I think that most people can get away with wearing this, especially if you just set it with a powder. All right, let's blend out this forehead. Let's get this going. We want to get some eye makeup on too. These lives go by in the blink of an eye. It's like, I, I literally feel like I blink and then they're over. I'm going to go back to my N15 really quick because I went a little too high up with that highlight on my forehead. And this is just a nice way to just rework the bronzer into the skin. There we go. Just kind of building and reworking. Going back to the N14 again. I'm gonna blend this up towards my temple for a nice little lifted and highlighted effect. You see that? Now for eye makeup, I'm thinking just like a soft, rosy, um, daytime kind of eye makeup look. I don't want anything too dramatic. I want to just have it, keep it nice and simple. So I'm actually going to dip into a new favorite palette. It's from ColourPop. It's the Blush Crush Palette. I picked this up for my drugstore versus luxury makeup tutorial and people everyone loved it everyone loved that eye makeup look and i loved it i thought it was a really pretty eye makeup look so i want to dip into this palette again i have not used it since that tutorial which is shocking and i want to just play with it more all right base is done now we get to move on to blush now i think that you could do as a dry skin person i think you do either liquid formula blushes or cream formula blushes or even uh, a mineral based like baked powder blush. Those are fantastic. Even if you have dry skin they're they look phenomenal on your skin. Um, for example, the hourglass baked mineral blushes. These are fantastic for all skin types, but I love the way they look on dry skin, especially for this look. I actually think that the makeup by Mario cream blushes are really in particularly great for dry skin. I don't use these in my pro kit for any of my oily skin clients or anyone who I think has more oily skin because they're just too dewy in my opinion. So we're going to use either dusty rose or earthy pink. I'm thinking, you know, what, let's do earthy pink because I've been doing a lot of mauve blushes lately and I want to switch it up. So earthy pink. One thing I want you to do if you have dry skin, don't go cold cream product to skin. That's going to break your makeup up. It's going to tug on your skin. You're going to have a really hard time blending it out. When you have dry skin, you want to pre-warm your products. So that means getting your product onto your skin, not your face, but like your hand. The warmth of your hand is going to help to warm up that product, melt it into your skin, and it's going to be a great way to pre-blend your blush. So when you go to blend it on your actual face, it's going to be so quick, so easy, and you're not going to have to work really hard to do it. So I'm taking the light fiber side of my N17 again, same brush that we used to apply 
our base makeup. I'm really, really working it and warming it. It's all about warming up your products if you have dry skin. Just a couple questions. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. I'm gonna tap it on. Okay, Mitch is saying I have some questions. I'm sure I have a lot of questions. I'm so sorry. I'm getting lost in this tutorial. Okay, are you ready? Yep. <clears throat> uh, Nikki, can you recommend an eye cream serum for someone who usually it oily but getting dry during the winter? Other than the terrain because it, it peels on me. Ooh, okay. Um, I, I've always loved the Kiehl's Avocado um, eye cream. That's a really fantastic one. You need like a tiny little dollop. It's very juicy, very great for under eyes. Um, so whether you're dry, oily, it's one that I've used in my pro kit for ages, but also I would suggest putting your like hyaluronic acid serum under your eyes for like an instant way to hydrate your skin and then following it with just your moisturizer. So whatever you put on your face, I think is like such a great and easy way to hydrate your under eyes. So, you know, for example, I love like a lot of hydrating toners, like the Fenty Milky Essence. I love that one. And I have a new favorite one from Fresh. It's like an oil infused um, rose toner. Oh my gosh, the way that feels under my eyes, first thing like out of the shower is unreal. And I'll instantly follow it with either my HA serum and then a little bit of whatever moisturizer I'm using. And that's usually all I do. Like that's a really great way to hydrate your under eyes without having to go buy a separate eye cream. So I hope that helps. It's like two good options for you. Oh, that was Maggie. Yeah. Okay, so Yen, <clears throat> Yen has a Yen has a question. Yes. Uh, hi, Nikki. I know you've probably seen this and been asked a million times across your platforms, but what or that iridescent shade you had on your last current faves? Please, we are all willing or dying to see it. Iridescent shimmer that I had on my last current. Faves. Was this on YouTube? Must be. I I want to say it was the Danessa Myricks Lightwork palette. I think. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look back and yeah. see. What the video look like? I'm gonna layer a little bit more blush, and you'll notice too. I just want to like reiterate, it's all about the tapping. If you have a really oily base, it's not like that doesn't have stain power. Like if you were doing a matte full coverage foundation, those have just more grip and more stain power on your skin. So you could have a little more fun when you're blending that product or your blush on top because they're meant to be more long lasting. But when in terms of like dry skin based products, like these are really emollient. They're really, really, they're, they're oily basically. This one in particular is very oily. So you wouldn't want to go swipe and buff because it will just lift it all up and it'll create a very muddied, effect with your makeup because you're going to basically mix those two products together and the effect, the outcome is not going to be cute. So instead, I really, really want you to do tapping motions. Okay. Blush looks good. I want to put a little bit of cream highlighter on top and one that pops in my mind for I mean, I think anyone could use this, but I think in particular dry skin will look, it'll look really pretty on a dry skin uh, textured person. This is from, say, it's the Glow Sculpt. It's basically like a glowy, uh, it's a highlighter, it's a cream highlighter, but this one has a little bit of tint on my complexion. It's in the shade Rose Quartz or Rose Quartz? No, Quartz Glow. So I'm gonna layer this a little bit on top of the Makeup by Mario. Same brush. We make things easy over here, you know? One brush for so many different products is perfectly acceptable. Now I have a hair on my face and I can feel it and I don't see it and it's gonna drive me nuts, but we're gonna try to move on. So I'm gonna layer this a bit. <clears throat> Sorry, on top. Yeah, for some, some extra glow. Some questions, why don't you pick this up? Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> I know, Mitch's narrating was just hilarious. It was so funny. Okay. Oh, Sandy, thank you so much. Tristan has a question here. Okay, I'm gonna clear my throat, guys. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Very sorry about that. Okay. So, Tristan, 
Yes, Tristan says, has a question. Very dry, or very dry skin question. I need hydrating, mm. exfoliating toner to eliminate foundation looking splotchy after two hours mm. with a lot of skin prep. Looking at Laneige Blue something toner, your mm -hmm. thoughts? Um, I have not tried, uh, Tristan, I haven't tried the Laneige Blue toner. I need to look into it a little bit more. Uh, I would say even if you're dry, you still want to get that top layer of dry dead skin off off of your skin, like that surface level of dry skin, because when you put your makeup on top, it, you may not see it until like you put makeup on top. And once you put makeup on top, it's like a magnifying mirror for any dryness or texture you have on your skin. It like instantly brings it out. I love BHA toners. Even if you're dry, any kind of BHA toner is one of my favorites. It's just, it doesn't matter the brand. There's so many good brands, but a BHA toner, I love for, uh, either daily if your skin can tolerate it to every other day to just kind of slough away that dead layer of skin so that way when you put your makeup on top you don't have any texture and you don't experience any texture and they're not drying they're not going to be overly drying so don't be afraid to use them if you have dry skin um if anything they leave your skin feeling just really smooth and really um like kind of silky in a way like they leave a nice silky feeling of course you want to make sure you follow it with hydration and your moisturizer so you don't dry out your skin but i would go for a bha any kind of bha is what i use in my kit and all my clients love it and i've never had any bad outcomes using it so i hope that helps okay, so questions. okay while mitch is asking me some other questions i am going to powder my skin i reached the point where I just want to see some minimizing going on right here. For me, if I leave my skin too shiny and too dewy in these areas, I just look like I have larger pores than I actually do. So I just want to touch on this really quick. And then Mitch is going to answer or ask me some questions or reiterate them. Um, I think the Givenchy Prism Lieb powder is one of the best powders for dry skin. I use this on all my dry skin clients in my kit and it never disappoints me. So I'm going to use the number three shade. I'm going to pour some in my cap. We're not gonna use a ton. We're really gonna keep it pretty minimal because I don't wanna add a heaviness or like a dry, too much dryness to this glowy, dewy complexion that is for dry skin. I'm gonna go back to my N14. It's one of my, like if not my favorite brush to apply powder in the T-zone, but especially under my eye. You can see the fact that it's domed and it's small, it gets into this very small area of our eye and we'll lock your makeup in we'll lock your concealer in um, the reason why this powder works so well for dry skin is it's very smoothing first of all so it's amazing for under the eye oh pauline thank you thank you so much um you're so sweet it's very smoothing it's ultra finely milled so the finer milled powders are like the best ones for dry skin because they, they don't leave a heaviness on your skin so if you have dry skin you want to stay away from like heavier powders like for example i wouldn't use like the one size beauty powder on my dry skin clients i wouldn't use um the laura mercier powder they're too thick they're too heavy you want like a really ultra finely milled powder that's going to feel like nothing it's going to feel just like nothing on your skin all right I'm feeling much better now that I've set the area of my face that was just overly shiny. We're leaving all the outer parts of the face glowy. Because again, if you're dry skin, you don't need to powder your whole face. Your skin is going to just, it's going to do well without that. But the areas that have like high movement, like a high amount of movement, like under the eyes, for example, and also like around the mouth, I like to powder around here. This is where you want to powder because this is where we have the most movement and expression throughout the day. And you don't want to walk around with glowy creased makeup. There's nothing worse. And there's definitely worse things, but it's not, you know, you don't really want, just avoid it. Don't do it. Um, Mitch has some questions he wants to. You ready for those now? Yes. Okay. So Angie Pfeiffer says, is there a way to, or is there a trick to keep your eye makeup from watering when you put on makeup? It sounds like you have allergies, Angie. And I feel for you because I have, again, tons of clients that have chronic allergies, myself included. So Angie's saying that she has your eyes water when you're putting your makeup on. It, that's an allergy. It's just, it's, may, if you're open to it, I would suggest, again, if you're open to it, I don't want to like tell you to take a, a pill that you don't want to take. But um, I have 
client to take Benadryl. Um, what's the other one? Zyrtec. Zyrtec. That's the one. Zyrtec is the one that actually works. Sorry, not Benadryl. Zyrtec is the one that helps with watery eyes the most. And again, I, I can't even tell you how many clients I have that have chronic watery eyes and it's just allergies. That's it. It's just, it's not makeup. Makeup kind of activates it and like, it's like a, a switch that just like clicks up and like activates that water gland to start watering, but it's, it all comes down to allergies. So I'm sorry. I wish I had a better answer for that. I, some eye drops kind of help, but yeah, it's really going to be Zyrtec that's going to help you the most. We're going to go create a soft shadow. I'm going to stop talking for a quick second. I'm going to get a little bit of shadow in my crease, and then I'm going to put a cream shadow on top of that. So I'm going to first sweep a little bit of one of these mauve tone shadows with my N13. But you know what we need to do? And I'm so sorry I meant to do this. Before we do that, we're gonna buff out these creases on my eyelid. Because what you what you have going into an eye makeup application is what you're gonna have going out. So if you start with creases on your eyes, you're gonna be stuck with them the rest of the day. I'm gonna lightly powder my eyelids. This is a really fantastic powder for dry skin as well. It's the Kosas Cloud Set. Feels like nothing on your skin. Now we're ready to blend some shadow. Okay, DK said, well, I have a couple things here. Okay. DK, <clears throat> Nikki just finished rewatching The Husband Does My Makeup and your voiceover. I love you guys. Oh, so this is TK? DK. DK. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That um, video was such a hit. I, it was so fun. So, do you have a, so, Arian. Favorite new e.l.f. liquid cream blush color. Oh, yeah. Honestly? Okay, so we get a question about the e.l.f. cream blushes. I love them all. The shades that I got, I got Very Berry, I think. Mary Berry? Very Well. Just kidding. Very Well and Dusty Rose are probably my two favorites. But good luck finding them. I've noticed that they're so, they're all, I feel like they're sold out in so many different retailers. Like Ulta sold out of them, I believe. The last time I checked, they were sold out. Um, so I would try to find them on walmart.com if you're looking. But they're a really, really nice formula. They're $7. You just can't go wrong. Emily's asking, on the daily, do you wear more drugstore or more high-end products? On the daily, Emily, I wear more more luxury products, more high-end. Not Nothing against drugstore. You know I, I love good drugstore. Um, but majority of the time, I'm wearing like luxury Makeup. Okay, there's, there's some more, but go ahead and just. Okay, so it's gonna blend in the soft, mauvey blush tone. It's such a pretty and flattering shade. Now I am gonna take my, see if I can find a clean one. It's brush cleaning day, so I'm struggling to find some clean brushes. Um, if you guys are cleaning your brushes today, let me know so I'm, I know I'm not alone today. I'm going to take my N12. I'm going to dip back into that same shadow. And we're going to do what we usually do. Dry skin or not, anybody can do this. I'm just going to lightly blend that same tone on the bottom lash line for a nice cohesive look to my makeup. And like I mentioned, I'm going for a soft eye makeup look. I'm not going to go for anything too dark. So it's going to be pretty minimal, pretty easy. But look how pretty that is when you just bring that crease color down to the bottom. And again, we don't have a ton of powder under our eyes because this is for dry skin people. So be very careful when you're blending shadows in this area because you're not blending it on top of a fully set eye, like under eye. It's lightly set with powder, but it's not like baked. It's not like overly powdered. So you want to be a little careful and mindful of that when you're blending your shadows on the bottom lash line so you don't end up with um, a mess, basically. All right. I'm gonna switch my brush again to an Angie Hot and Flashy A504, and I'm gonna dip into the one. It's like a soft matte shade, and I'm just gonna blend this into the tear duct just to bring some brightness. Finish Mitch, finally able to enjoy your 
live video. My newborn baby was in the hospital with RSV. Oh no! Was this Emily Val? Val and thank God. Oh Val, home. she's doing so much better. Oh Val, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so happy you're, you and your baby are home safe. That must have been absolutely terrifying. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, thank you for spending your Sunday with us. Julia says, please give a drugstore powder showdown. If the prison leader mm. is ninety dollars in Canada. Wow. Ooh, God, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Yikes, that's rough. Um, I will definitely do a drugstore powder showdown. I love that idea. I love the way you named it too. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to copy that name. Let's let's actually write that down because that was a really great way to put it. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for the suggestion. I really appreciate that. We're always open to suggestions. So if you guys have suggestions or le of video ideas that you would just have always wanted to see, please always just leave them in a comment of a video and we'll find it. We'll see it eventually. Um, Here is really good too right now. Yeah, and I also have a big white dry erase board where I write down all my content ideas. Oh my gosh, Nancy, you're so sweet. You're I don't know what to do with your kindness. I really don't. I, I'm, you're so... I appreciate you so much, Nancy. You're so precious. Thank you so much. Barney Have a nice... Oh, I'll, I'll definitely go to brunch after this, Nancy. Um, gosh, I get so lost in the comments because I just want to, like, talk to you guys and, like, jump in and, like, read all the comments. It's so hard to, like, actually do a makeup tutorial because I just want to hang out and talk <laughs> and join the chat, literally. But I'm going to finish my eye makeup really quick. This is a cream eyeshadow from Fenty. Now... I will say, I just want to point this out. I wanted to use this formula for this color alone. However, I don't think this is the best cream shadow formula, especially if you have dry skin because they dry down really, really quick. So just a forewarning, if you do have dry eyelids and you want to apply this, my tip for you, because you can still use it and it's still going to work for you. You just have to work quick. Okay. So once it's on, just know that it's going to dry down very, very quick. And if you have dry skin, it's going to dry down even faster. So just something to note. The formula could be a little tricky, but this shade is just really pretty. Like how pretty is that? I should mention the shade actually while I'm talking about this. The shade is Get On Taupe. It's a very Fenty so, name. <laughs> yes. Barney said $10. Oh my God, Barney, thank you so much. She said that's uh, for me being shirtless before the live. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Do you guys want to hear a funny story? <laughs> Some of them saw it. Yeah, unfortunately. So. I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh my God. I could just I cry laughing. So Mitch was testing out this. It's like a whole software you have to like set up and everything for <laughs> Mitch. Mitch actually went live shirtless for about 10 seconds, maybe yeah. less. Something like that. Something like that. You know, nothing, not too embarrassing. It's okay. But Barney caught it and I'm sure a couple of people caught it too. I was crying, laughing, absolutely crying, laughing. So, um, glad you guys like the show. I missed it. You have another. Maggie saw it too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. So Kim, Kim saw it too. Ali saw it. Okay. I'm just all of our loyal followers. All of our loyalist followers. <laughs> I'm gonna be it's like one of those things I'm gonna be like midweek on set working and I'm gonna it's gonna pop in my head and I'm just gonna start laughing uncontrollably. Okay, hold on. Mitch is gonna Mitch is gonna ask me a question because I know I'm missing a lot. I am gonna do some eyeliner while he's doing that, okay? This is a Laura Mercier eyeliner. They're gel, they're really creamy, they're easy to get on your eyes, and they're easy to blend out. It's in the shade Espresso Brown. I'm going to tight line while he's talking to me. So, um, <laughs> Kenna sent you a super thanks. $10 super thanks. I oh, thank your, you so much, Kenna. watched you for a while, and you're amazing. Could you do oh. a makeup tutorial for mature skin? Yes, I promise you I'm working on it. I know I've been so, it's been so hard to get that one done because I need to bring in my model. And she's a very busy person. So yes, I will get that done. It's a goal. It's on my list for 2024. We will definitely get that one done and shot. But thank you for your patience. I really appreciate it. I'm just going to continue tight lining. Adrian says, I got the notification that there's Mitch with no shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Go. 
god. Okay, so <laughs> Aon a says, can you please do a beginner makeup tutorial for Mature? And she sent $5. Uh, oh, thank you so much. She said, can you do a beginner eye tutorial for Mature Skin tutorial? Yeah. Beginner eye. I think that the, uh, honestly, the video that I posted yesterday, Beginner's Guide for to Makeup. Skin. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Chrissy. That's for Mature Skin. Right. Um, mature skin, beginner, it doesn't matter. The, the techniques I, I, uh, showed in that video that we posted yesterday, it's going to translate for all. I will do a specific one for mature eyes, but it, just in the meantime, try out the techniques. They're just very simple for the, the beginner's guide to makeup. That eye makeup technique is pretty universal. Like I, you have a great time utilizing those tips and then I'll definitely do, uh, a, a more specific one for mature eyes very soon. Let's do a little more eyeliner really quick. This is a Wayne Goss eyeliner, I'm sorry, and Tiger's Eye. Chrissy Lee just sent a $10. I saw that. Chrissy Lee, you're so, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. She sent me two. What? She, well, anyway, she said, thank you for entertaining me while I'm, while I'm in the ER. Yeah, oh, <gasps> oh no. Asked, I wanted to ask your permission if I could at some point do a video following your tips while I do my makeup. Of course. Oh uh, yeah. That's a great idea, Chrissy. Um, Chrissy, sending you, I'm sending you all the well wishes and all the good vibes. I really, I, I know you're going through a hard time, so I really hope you're going to pull through and I just feel so bad for you that your, your health has been, I know a really big issue and we're thinking about you and I just love that you're still doing YouTube and you're, you know, it's something like really positive to focus on and a nice distraction, I'm sure. Um, so absolutely, you don't even have to ask. Use my video in any way you want. So I'm just doing a little baby wing. This is not, you know, particularly for dry skin or not dry skin. It's just an eyeliner technique that you know, you know I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little baby wing for this Sunday. And what else, what's everyone else doing CB, this Sunday? Just sent me... Oh, Mitch wants to ask me questions. Yeah, Snoopy Life just sent me 4 Thank you for Thank you, Snoopy video. Life. I look forward to these every Sunday. Oh, me too. That's why I'm always so devastated when I can't do them. And actually, I should warn you guys, I will be gone next Sunday. I'm just going to grab my eyelash curler. Don't mind me. I will be gone next Sunday. Um, I'm traveling to London next week. I'll be gone for an entire week uh, with my client. We're doing a whole press tour. I've done it a couple times with her at this point. So I'll be in London for an entire week, which is gonna be super fun if you follow me on instagram i'll be posting a ton in my stories like i usually do when i travel so you can follow me there and kind of come along the journey with me but long story short i will be in the air next sunday during our normal live time but i'm thinking i'm definitely gonna try to pop on here at some point and say hi to you all because you know i'm gonna be just absolutely sad and missing you all Really quick, I'm just gonna grab my N11 brush. I'm gonna just kind of set my eyeliner and go over it with one of these dark purple shades in the palette. Okay, so one, one question here from uh, Road Dash is Mature Skin Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. Groundwork Natasha Denona Nude or Makeup by Mario Nude? Everyday Dry Skin. Mature, Mature. Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. I would go with the Makeup by Mario. That's Road Dash's. Rodash, I would go with Makeup by Mario. You just can't go wrong. And when you say every day, that's just a great everyday palette. It really is. It's a fantastic one. It's not overwhelming. It's not a big palette. It's not bulky. You can travel with it. You know, it fits in like most makeup bags. So I think, I think the Makeup by Mario. Last thing, I think we should do like a 10 minute Q&A at the end of the video. Sure. Um, after this makeup tutorial is over, uh, if I missed a ton of questions, I could do a 10 minute Q and a after where I just read your questions and answer them. Is that something you guys would want? Do you have time for it? You could be totally honest. I'm going to put some mascara on while I'm waiting for the answer. Oh, Sue, thank you so much. I'm so happy you found that video helpful. I really appreciate the super thanks, but also I mean, I appreciate more than anything, your views and your support. So thank you. I'm putting on the give mascara universally good dry skin or not 
Okay. So yes, I'm getting a lot of yeses for the 10 minute Q and A. I think that's a good idea because I, I know I missed a lot of questions because I was talking specifically about dry skin tips. So let's do that Q and A and we'll start in a bit. I'm just gonna put a lip on first and then we'll start that 10 minute Q and A where I just read your questions. Cause again, I know I missed a lot. Poor Mitch is like in the background trying to read them all to me while I'm like caught up in doing my makeup. Does anyone else get just super caught up and lost when you're doing your makeup? It's like I completely zone out the rest of the world or tune it out, I should say. This is a really good mascara. Yeah. You have a ton of people on your <laughs> I can't stop laughing about Mitch with that shirt. <laughs> okay. I had something else I was gonna do. Oh yes, one more thing, one more thing, and then we will move on. For dry skin, I feel like this is such a fantastic product to just give you even more like glow, like healthy glow to your skin. Um, it's from Kosas, it's the Sun Show. It's called the Sun Show. I always get confused with this name. It's called the Sun Show. It's like a luminous baked bronzer. How pretty is that? This is the shade Waves. It's like a really natural tone on me, which I like for just, you know, like a nice wash of color. I am out of all my clean BK Beauty brushes. So, so we need to use something different. So let's use an Angie Han Flashy A507. Love this brush. I'm gonna dip into this. And I'm just gonna lock in that cream Makeup by Mario bronzer and add a little more color. And you can see how it gives like that nice glow. It's not like a glittery glow. It's like a sheen, it's like a luminous sheen. It's very similar to the Hourglass bronzers if you've tried those and you know I love those. A little more on my nose. Did you see Sue's super thanks? I did, thank you. And then we're gonna finish up with some lip and then we'll do that Q&A. So I have a really nice lip combo that I can't wait to put on. I'm gonna do something more creamy, okay? So this is actually from Peripera. Peripera is an extremely inexpensive brand. You can get them on Amazon. They're like, again, they're very inexpensive. I think this is like $7 or no, maybe it's $8, $10. I don't know. I'll link it. Everything will be linked, don't worry. Um, but this is a shade that I like for just an everyday look. It's the shade Milky Brown. These are twist ups. And if you have dry lips, you wanna get a formula lip liner that's not too, obviously not a dry one. So in that case, get something that has like a nice creamy texture to it that's gonna glide really smooth on your lips. So if you have dry lips, you're not gonna have a hard time getting a nice smooth line. And this product also is as a bonus, it's a very long wearing pencil. So I love it for that too. But look at that, nice and smooth. Joe just logged on. Huh? Joe just logged on. Hey, Joe. Joe swears. <laughs> Joe missed the show. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> lip liner is almost on. We're gonna do one more round of setting spray and then we're gonna start that Q&A. That's a really good idea. So, I don't know if you guys have tried this. I've talked about this a lot. Um, th these are so fantastic in the winter when my lips are like parched and they just need some extra moisture, but I also wanna have a tint and basically like wear a lip color. It's from LYS, you know I love this brand. This came in a set, I wanna say it was a limited edition, but I think they're still on Sephora's website. Um, came with a lipstick, this is like the gloss topper. It's the Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil in the shade hot chocolate, right? Yeah, hot chocolate. Oh my God, this smells just like hot chocolate. It makes you want to eat it. It smells so good. But the color is just so pretty. It's like a milky brown. It's not pretty. And it feels utterly fantastic on my lips. All right, so that is gonna be our lip. It's easy, simple. It's very hydrating. And now I should probably do this because I think I put a little too much on. It's a little trick for you all. 
just to get that inner part so you don't get it on your teeth. One last round of setting spray from Lisa Eldridge because if you have dry skin, you want to lock that, that whole makeup application in with obviously a setting spray, but something that's going to be something that's going to set your makeup and rehydrate it as well and add that little last bit of moisture. So really quick. Oh, so nice on my skin. Oh my gosh, I just got another super thanks. Thank you so much. In addition to doing, oh my gosh, I turned 50 last year. Oh, congratulations. Thank you so much for the super thanks. I really appreciate you. That wraps up this dry skin makeup look. I wish you could feel my skin right now. I wish you could like sit here and like feel how my skin feels because it feels so nice, so hydrating. It is quite glowy. Uh, a little glowy for my comfort zone, but it's okay because it's all about um, a look for my dry skin people out there. So let's start that Q&A since I missed out on loads of questions. So what I'm going to do is just makeup is done. I'll give you one more final look of it and let's ask away. Let's start that Q&A. Oh, thank you, Celine. Video idea, I think it would be nice to bring a guest on the show. How you do makeup on darker skin, I'm working on it, trust me. That's, so I have a friend lined up for that too. So that's gonna be done this year and also my uh, mature skin model will be coming in this year, I promise you. Could you please bless it with a quick tutorial look for your last current phase video? Oh yes, yes, I will for sure. Thank you, Yen, and yes, it was definitely the Danessa Myricks Lightwork palette, for sure. Um, is anyone, but Bi being bio girl, I have six different of, um, the makeup by Mario lipsticks. I love them. I think they're fantastic. In case you missed it, I did post a reel on my Instagram and on my YouTube shorts, uh, swatching and applying six different shades from makeup by Mario. They're a really amazing formula. Highly recommend you check them out. Okay. Oh, you see all the super Nancy, yes, anytime, <laughs> please. Nikki, what's a good nude, nude lipstick for fair skin? Something that doesn't pull orange. Penelope Pink is really pretty from Charlotte Tilbury. I think Adrian is a really nice one from, from Chanel. Um, or Boy from Chanel is a nice one too if you have like very fair skin. Please hit the thumbs up. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. Nikki, can you link the mirror you used to get ready? Yes. So by the way, this is just a, it's very dirty. It's a cheap mirror from Amazon. I will try to find the link. I will try to find the link and I'll put it in this description. I, I want to say I found it recently, so it shouldn't be too hard. I, it was like a $12 mirror. Um, it's flexible. It's easy. I travel with it. I usually like throw it in my luggage and take it on trips with me. <laughs> What was your Phil's order? Mint mojito. Oh my God, that mint mojito coffee is so good. And I get it the Phil's way, which is like creamy and sweet. 10 out of 10. What is a good concealer for dry under eyes that, that water easily? You might want to try out that Fenty one, honestly, because it is waterproof. And I mean, if you have watery eyes, get a long wearing hydrating formula. I would definitely suggest trying that Fenty one. If you don't need a massive amount of coverage, I would say, Try the new Fenty one because it is waterproof. So great for watery eyes, but make sure you set it. Have you tried Glossy Foundation? Apparently it's really good for dry skin. I don't know if I should get it or not, but everyone says it's good. You know, James, I've heard the same thing. I've heard that people love it. Um, fun fact, uh, or just a little preview. I did pick it up because I'm going to film very, very soon. A huge Sephora haul where I test out every single foundation and that is in the bag, ready to go. So you'll get my thoughts on it very soon. Nikki, raisin colored eyeliner that lasts but can still be smudged out recommendations. Um, I would do the Victoria Beckham ones, like Plum from Victoria Beckham. I think it's Plum, really, really pretty. Or, no, I would do Plum. Best way to blend foundation concealer and blush for white blonde hairline. Blend into it, don't apply product close to your hairline. Apply it in the center before because I have a lot of blonde clients, like a lot of blonde clients. Apply it more in the center and then as you get towards the hairline, you want to make it so sheer that it's barely there. Same with your bronzer. And one thing that I do when I'm doing bronzer on 
clients that have very blonde hair, I will literally place my whole hand, right? I'll get my brush. Let me just show you an example. And I'll blend it on like this. So I'm getting the hairline, but I'm not getting the actual hair. My hand is like blocking it. So that's a really good technique to utilize if you are trying to avoid getting makeup in your blonde hair. I know it's a really big struggle. I've struggled with it for years. I've ruined a few hairlines in my time. <laughs> I'm afraid to admit. Um, what's the best lip plumper? Sandy is asking what's the best lip plumper. I love the ones from Buxom. The ones from Buxom are fantastic, but also Lawless makes really amazing, like quite epic lip plumpers. These are really nice and they don't feel horrible on your lips. They don't feel like they're burning or like over tingling. So I would definitely try those one out. Those ones out, Nancy. Sorry, Sandy asked me that. Try that one, Sandy. How to cover cystic acne. I, I always, it always peeks through my makeup, especially on the cheeks after applying blush. You're gonna to wanna to be careful with your application of your blush, especially. I would stick to powder formulas to layer on top of what I'm assuming is like a full coverage foundation and concealer. And you're gonna to wanna to use the same technique that I showed in this video where I tapped it on very gently. So if you're if you're doing, let's say you're acne prone, you have, um, like you said, you have cystic acne that you're covering up. You wanna be as careful with your blush application as humanly possible so you don't disrupt that full coverage makeup that's underneath. Whereas if you went in with a liquid and you blended it and you blended it, you're gonna lift it up and you're gonna see it peeking through again. So be very careful with your blush application and make sure you're using a good setting powder to lock in your base products. Um, Celine is asking, hey Nikki, how do I get my rosacea well covered? The red usually comes through after about two hours. I set it with powder. Celine, I would suggest using a green color correcting primer. Makeup Forever has a really great one that's easy to work with. That's gonna be a really nice way to tone down your rosacea so that when you put your makeup on top, you're not gonna see it peeking through. That would be my first suggestion. And if that's not enough, then you might wanna go in with a green color corrector. I've used one from, um, actually NYX has one that's really nice. It's thin. You could put a thin layer, put your foundation on top, and that's gonna to help to, of course, cancel out that redness. Anything green is gonna cancel out redness like rosacea. Um, would you ever do a class in the, would you ever do a class or meet up when in the UK? I wish I'd have to go out there when I'm not going out there for um, a client like I am this time. I'm going out there with a client. So I'm specifically going as a makeup artist, not a content creator, but I would love to go do a tour and do meet and greets and do all those things. But if you see me out and about in the UK, you better come say hi to me and give me a hug. Okay, Celine, hi, I have super oily skin in the summertime, but it's more combo in the winter, dry under eyes around my nostrils and my mouth. How do I navigate this? Celine, you're just gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna switch out your skincare routine based on the season. That's the best recommendation. What works for you in the summertime, it's not necessarily gonna work for you in the wintertime. It sounds like it's not working in the wintertime. So I would switch out all of your skincare products for winter, and I would also switch out your foundation. Favorite moisturizer before makeup, dry skin, mature. You know, the one that I use the most in my pro kit is the Naturium multi, um, Multipeptide? Yeah, Naturium Multipeptide Cream. It's a it's a creamy lotion. It works with all my skin types. It's, it works incredible under makeup. That's my tried and true go-to and it's very inexpensive. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Love the tiny wing. Thank you, Deborah. I love it too. Okay, let's see. Any more questions? Do you like the hourglass powder? Um, Lindsay, I don't love that hourglass powder, to be quite honest. I'm going to be very, very honest with you. I, I'm i not a big fan of that powder. Um, I would say if you have really dry skin, you might want to check out the Say powder. That's a really nice powder for dry skin. Also the one from By Terry, it's a hyaluronic acid based powder. That one's fantastic. I've used it for many, many years, but I, I, I really stand by that Givenchy. It's a really fantastic powder for all skin types. Sammy saw you too, babe. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, Jade, if you're in the UK and you see me, you have to say hi to me, please. Mitch needs a mic. <laughs> Oh, I know. I feel you on that. Darian says you need a mic. 
Have you tried Diabla White Truffle Serum? No, I haven't, but I have heard good things about it. Oh, thank you so much, Sandy. You're so sweet. I appreciate you so much. Nikki, what's a good matte setting spray? Um, well, if you want matte, I would say the um, uh, One Size Beauty on Till Dawn. That will like mattify your skin. It will lock your makeup in. It feels like hairspray, but it's incredible for oily skin. Okay, what gold square hoops were you wearing in the luxury versus drugstore tutorial? I'll try to link them in this video. I'll, I'll try to find a link for them. So mirror square hoop earrings. I will try a link in this video, but I got them at a local store. That's a cute little store. Um, happy new year from Canada. Oh, thank you. Happy new year to you too. Do you like the hourglass powder for dry skin? Okay. I, I answered that question. Um, West Metelier. Mm, okay. I think we got a lot of the questions. How do you sanitize your makeup? Actually, babe, will you grab me that bag really quick? I get this question a lot, this brown one. Since I get this question on a regular basis, I actually just restocked the product that I use on a daily basis in my pro kit to sanitize my makeup because I ran out. This is what it's called. I know it's hard to find, um, or you guys have reached out and told me it's hard to find. Sorry, I'll put it on the side. It's the Beauty So... Beauty So Clean Cosmetic Sanitizing Mist. I never don't have this. I never not, I never do not have this in my kit. Why is that so hard to say? This is always in my kit. It's a staple for me as a professional makeup artist. I use this to spray my eyeshadows. Um, my lipsticks, I use alcohol, like straight up alcohol. But I use this to spray like my pencil liners, my anything, anything, I, anything you need to sanitize, you could spray this. So powders, uh, blushes, literally anything. Um, this will instantly sanitize your makeup and then you wipe off that top layer and you are good to go. But this is a, this is like scent from the heavens for makeup artists. Do we need to get the skin wet before foundation? No, Paulina, only if you have really dry skin, you could do this as a pre, um, foundation hydrator. Um, I think pe pink or peach color corrector for medium dark skin tones. I would go for peach Pinks are going to be more for fair to light skin tones. What eyeshadow palette were you wearing in the Maybelline versus Chanel short? I was wearing actually, because it was a comparison video. So I did a full video comparing drugstore versus luxury. The drugstore side was this blush crush palette. And then the luxury side was the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. So I used like-minded colors from both palettes to do the eye makeup look. Um... Do I think the crease proof and transfer proof is possible? To some extent, yes. When is your next release, Nikki? Makeup mirror. The makeup mirrors are, they're, I mean, how close do you think they're done? They well, are to be done. The 3D printed samples, so. Yeah, they're close. They're very close. We're working on the packaging for them. That's like the next step. And then after that, they should be here. And I'd say probably in the next month they'll be out and they'll be linked in my Shopify. Well, I will have a Shopify on my YouTube. So they'll just be linked there. You click easy. They're really cute. They're really a I'm compact, sure. easy size. No, let's wait. Let's wait. I have a prototype next to me, but I don't want to share it just because it's not completely done yet. Um, any other questions? And then I'm going to hop off and I'm going to get some food because my stomach is growling incredibly loud. I'll make sure I link everything that I use in this dry skin makeup tutorial in the description. Just give me a few minutes to get that uploading and to pull the links. It takes some time. It's like very time consuming to do that. Um, that was Tomas. Yep. I think we got a lot of these. <laughs> Barney says, take my money now for the mirrors. You're so sweet. I love you so much. Um, I'm so happy you guys enjoyed this Q and A. This was a really great idea. I know I, I missed a lot of questions. I hopefully got to answer a majority of them. But I'm going to hop off. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for being patient. I know I was a little late to jump on this live, but everything will be linked in the description box, including the mirror. And I will try if I link to those earrings that were requested, but I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you taking the time. I feel so lucky and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.